Hey guys, this is Jack from FPV Academy and in this video I'm just going to talk more about what FPV flying is. If you guys are one of the previous subscribers on my channel and you are experienced in flying FPV then you might want to give this video a skip because this is one of the first videos in a new series specifically aimed at beginner FPV pilots. So just skip this video, there will be a ton more spe of content specifically for you guys. So thank you just so much for checking this out. Now, if you are new to FPV, you are probably very excited to get into it. I still remember the first time that I saw my video um, that got me into FPV and that was a video by Schizo. So you guys probably also saw an FPV video online or you maybe even attended an event. But the point is you are excited about FPV and you want to learn more about what it is and maybe even fly your own quad. So let's talk a little bit more about what FPV flying is. Now FPV flying started out quite a few years ago, um, it actually first started off on the wings, there were a bunch of guys that flew big airplanes that was just a single wing, they put an FPV on it and they were just flying all over the place and it looked really fun. Then some guys decided well hey let's put these on a quadcopter and let's see what we can do and then since then the hobby of FPV was born and where we are today is truly phenomenal. The technology that's out there is just is really amazing what these little things can do and just everything how it all works together. So FPV flying is you first start with a quadcopter. That is the main thing in flying FPV. There's a whole bunch of hardware on the market. Um, I'll talk more about that in an upcoming video. You guys don't have to worry about any of the intricacies of the things I'm going to be talking about right now because I will be simplifying it to the most basic form specifically for you guys. So just subscribe to these videos if you want to see those videos. So the quadcopter consists out of a whole bunch of parts that makes it fly. The biggest thing is probably the flight controller and the motors. So the flight controller that is on it that just helps the quad to, that's the brain that um, tells it what it needs to do and the motors it what makes the propeller spin. There's a whole bunch of other stuff I'll go more into detail about that but then so what makes it FPV is that on the quad there's a little camera on the front here and that camera then sends a signal via this antenna which is connected to the thing that sends the signal to your goggles and on the goggles you'll see that it also has a antenna it has actually two different ones but I'll talk more about that in another video and then it receives that signal and the latency which is the amount of time difference between what you're seeing on there and your goggles are so little that it's actually real time so wherever you're pointing the squad that is exactly what you see and that's what makes FPV flying so amazing. You can fly this thing, I can sit here right in this room and I can be flying outside right now, I don't need to worry about anything else. So it's not like, for example, there's a whole bunch of filming drones out there um, which have an HD video feed and then because it's an HD video feed you have issues with latency and um, then you can't really use those for flying FPV and they're not made for flying FPV, they're made to film videos. So this is specifically built for the thrill of flying. Um, just a point on the HD again, some guys might comment, well, well, the HD stuff is coming out now. Yes, there is HD modules coming out for your um, FPV quadcopter, but it's only just really hitting the market and they're still um, refining technology. But I'll talk more about that in future videos. So then we talked about the quadcopter. The next really important thing is your radio. There's a whole bunch of radios on the market but the biggest thing you just need to know is that it has two sticks which you use to control your um, quadcopter and a whole bunch of buttons. You don't really need to use those buttons it all just depends how you set it up because you set up the whole thing yourself and um, you don't need a really expensive radio to get into it. There's a lot of radios under $100 which is very affordable for a radio that works perfectly fine and the guys fly FPV with it. Next thing which is just as important is a charger and your batteries because without the batteries you can't fly. No, these things are not powered by moats, by um, petrol or fuel or anything like that. They are powered by batteries. I've had guys ask me, oh, they're so loud. Are they powered by a little engine? No, it's not an engine. It's a motor that's powered by the battery. Um, an engine just won't work on such a small little quad. And then a lot of you guys probably also have a bunch of questions. The most common questions that get asked is how far do these things fly? That totally just depends on the antenna setup that you have 
and the antennas that you have on here but it's not really the antennas that limit us so much it's more the battery because as you can see this isn't a very big battery it's a fairly small battery and um, if you're going to start flying further than one mile which do you think these things can probably do um, just depending on your antenna setup and your radio um, you can fly further than that but the battery is going to die anyway by just taking the time it takes you to get there and back your battery is going to be dead already so we don't really even worry about range that much we decide on a spot that we're going to fly at this spot we don't want to fly further than this and then you don't need to worry about that um, you know it just all depends on how long your battery life is so battery life is anywhere from about two minutes if you're a really really advanced pilot and you're really punching that throttle a lot doing a lot of advanced maneuvers at high speeds then you get about two minutes um, on a 1300 battery so that's just the size of the battery and then you also get bigger batteries which extends the battery life but then you know it makes the quad heavy and then it's not as nice to fly so there's a lot of trade-offs too but i'll get more about uh, into detail about that in the next video so that's the batteries that's the flying that's the quad what can I, what else can we talk about so you probably don't know that there is most likely a pretty big community of guys flying these things already in an area very close to you. So if you haven't even flown these things, you just saw it online and you wanna get more involved, you wanna see what it's like, check out Facebook, check out um, any page that you can get hold of of FPV flying and ask the people, you know, are there a bunch of guys flying in my area? Because there's a very good chance that there are guys flying very close to you. So then try and meet up with them. They will walk you through everything um, just a word of advice, they will tell you, Yo, you have to buy this brand, you have to buy this. Um, don't listen to that right now, there's a load of comments and personal preferences. And um, like I said, my goal with these videos is just to simplify it to you guys as much as you can. And then you can make your own informed decisions or you can follow my own build along series if you want to build your own quad, which I will be setting up in the future. So just definitely subscribe if you want to check those out. So then let's talk about events so like i just said there are guys flying in your area they're probably just um you know practicing enjoying the flying but there are also a bunch of events um, there are regional events there are national events and then there's international events so the international events is actually a lot more than what i expected even myself and what's planned for next year is already blowing my mind i know there's a whole load of events um, planned in korea where they're going to invite people from all over the world um, there's worldwide events in Europe, there's worldwide events, international events in um, Americas. So there's a lot of events going on. And then region, in terms of regional events, there are quite a lot of events, most likely in your area. So like I said, even speak to the same guys again, find out if there are events that they want to, that um, you can attend and check out. Then the next thing you might want to know is that there are two different types of flying which you can do at an event. Um, at the moment we have freestyle and racing. So freestyle is just where you take your quad, you fly it over the trees, you flip around things, you go as fast as you can, as low to the ground as you can. It's just where you express yourself as an art form when flying an FPV quadcopter. There's a whole bunch of tricks you can do, a whole bunch of combination tricks you can do, and then it's mostly usually the guy that has the best flow, which is, you know, how they chain the maneuvers together. And also the guy that has the most technical um, tricks in their arsenal. So you'll see some guy, you know, flying backwards around a tree and then he does a flip and then he goes under a bridge or something. That's usually the guys that, you know, have a ton of experience and they're most likely going to win the competition. The next one is racing, where we race them around a track. So there's this laid out track, which you can just, um, you know, it's everybody racing against each other. At the moment, we usually have about four or five people racing. Um, that's because it's limited to the frequencies that we run between, um, you know, like I said, the antenna and the goggles. But some competitions, the guys were even able to um, race up to 16 people together. But that is in a very, um, you know, the guy that set this up has tons of experience with antennas and tons of experience with radio frequencies and um, you know with the whole how FPV works and he was able to pull this off which I think is really amazing so the future is bright for FPV um, I can't wait till we're about 15 people you know all just racing against each other lots of aerial crashes probably but that is exciting the future for FPV is very exciting then some other um, 
disciplines of flying or other events for flying which i'm probably thinking that they will have is most likely they're going to have drag races quite soon i I think this is going to be something that probably picks up, you know, a quad that is specifically built to go as fast as it can, you know, in a straight line. Um, maybe it's over a quarter mile, I don't know, but these things are extremely fast. I mean, um, the acceleration is, it takes it about one to one and a half, maybe two seconds to get to its top speed. It's just phenomenal. And then another one that I'm thinking that will probably, um, you know, pick up, I saw this or I heard about this at an event in Korea that happened a little while ago was they had weightlifting. So, you know, who, which quad can lift the most weight, which is quite interesting too. Um, it's not really FPV flying so much then because you're not really flying FPV unless they tell you to fly with that weight, which I doubt, but it's still quite funny. And, um, you know, it could be uh, just another branch of, you know, that FPV quads go into. So that's just more or less the general overview of FPV flying. I hope that gives you a little bit better understanding of what this hobby is and what we do and that it made you excited about it. Uh, like I said, going forward, uh, you are probably going to want to start reading up about everything now and go ahead, please do it. But just know that some of the information has been outdated because this technology for FPV advances at an extremely rapid rate. Uh, there's new things coming out almost every month and I'm really struggling to even keep up with everything myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and simplify everything as much as I possibly can. If you want to purchase your own quad and build it, I will have build along videos where you can purchase an entire kit. And in that video, I'll then tell you, you know, what all the parts are, what it does um, and just show you exactly how to build a quad and then how to set it up and how you can start flying. So if you are interested in that, then make sure you subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And then hopefully you'll join me on the journey together where we just fly FPV and where I teach you guys how to fly, how to improve your skills and just enjoy FPV flying for what it is. Such an amazing hobby. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to catch you guys in the next one.